Today, I'm going to make an only up like platformer in just one single hour, and I'm going to publish it to Game Chalk so you can play it. Without further ado, let's go. So step number one is to download something called the Advanced Locomotion System on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. This is actually also the same system they use for only up, and that's kind of convenient because I'm going to use that system too. If we go inside of a project, we can see that things are pretty much already set up for us and the only thing we really need in this case is a bunch of assets. Fortunately, I have this $500 asset pack I bought for my last money, meaning that I'm now super broke fueling my GTX 1080 with hopes and prayers. I'm gonna take that, throw that into the mix and boom, process start. Wow. I'm now going to create a new level I'm just gonna place random assets around the world so you essentially have something to climb on top of. Here's the catch of my game. If you fall down, you die. And if you die, you start over. Well, that's the whole plot of the game, right? So I have to create a bit of some custom logic. I'm gonna make a very basic system that detects if the character is falling or not using something called a line trace. A line trace is pretty much an invisible trace that starts at a point and ends at a point. If anything overlaps in between the two points, we have a boolean value that is gonna be true. And if it doesn't overlap with anything, it just free floats, free floats through the air, the value is gonna be false. And if that value is false for more than four seconds, you die and you have to start over again. So that's the system. With that part taken care of, I would really like to make a very basic menu system. So you essentially have a main menu and you have a escape menu. And this means I have to go into Unreal Engine's UI designer called UMG slash Widget Blueprint. And what I'm gonna do here is just to add a couple of buttons, make some very basic logic so the system works, and that is essentially done. Well, when I'm done with throwing this noodle code in here, so with all the amazing UI design and the noodle code done, we essentially just have to do one last thing. We have to replace this squiggly little guy here with an alien. Uh, so I bought an alien for the purpose of this video and I'm just pretty much gonna use the switcheroo method, method to switch these two characters around and with that out of the way, 